I'm actually so not ready for this. I talk so much. <laughs> Today, I'm going to be dealing with a YouTuber that challenged me to a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu match. One with a gi, one without a gi. This guy has no idea what he's getting himself into. I got around 20 years of Jiu Jitsu experience. And I got my black belt from Bruno Fernandes from Gracie Baja here in Montreal. Sam is fairly new to the YouTube scene, but I see huge potential in him. This is the type of creator that can have millions of subscribers to his channel. Keep an eye on him because one day he's going to blow up and you want to be part of that journey. As a black belt, I should beat this guy easily. People expect black belts to beat lower ranking belts, regardless of age or size. He may be younger, he may be more athletic than me, but I better win. I'm about to leave to go to the gym downtown, and we're gonna have one roll with the gi. After that, I'm gonna go to his gym, 10 Planet Jiu Jitsu, and we're gonna roll some no gi Jiu Jitsu. Let's see how it goes. Look at this dude's loss, man. Okay, I don't know where this gym is at, bro. Yeah, across it, we're on the other side of the street, eh? Because uh, we saw you walk by, you walked by us. I didn't know if you were recording or you're lost. Oh, yeah, I am. Oh, I see. I just see it. I see it. I see it. There we go. There we go. Because look, I, turn your head. You'll see we're on top yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. In yeah. The corner. Okay, cool. All right, he's coming. Okay, okay. Bye, bye, bye. I know that he's here with his whole entourage because he needs all the security guards that he could get. What's up, buddy? Oh, what's up? How's it you going? Good? You, you good? ready? You ready to die? <laughs> I'm gonna smash this guy. <laughs> I got something for you. Oh. We're gonna be different colors. I'm on the blue tee. Okay. And you are on the white tee. I love that. I've never worn uh, one of these, so it should be uh, interesting. Do I go change it here? Yeah, I'm gonna change with the enemy. <laughs> 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 I, don't, I don't know how I feel about this. All right. I'm ready to do this. <laughs> Alright, what's up guys? My name is Sam Ashapur. Uh, I'm fighting out of 10 Planet Montreal under Corey Guitar and Louis Ho. And I'm here to show the world that, you know, belts don't mean shit. So, if I win, he has to give me a shout out on his biggest YouTube channel. Which is crazy because, l l no, listen to this. He has all the advantages. He's a black belt. He has 45 pounds on top of me. Whoa, chill, bro. <laughs> 20 pounds, 20 pounds, 20 pounds. Okay, 20 pounds oh on top God. of me. And we're fighting in a gi. I've never fought in a gi. So the least he could do if I win, lunch, and a shout out on his biggest YouTube channel. Now, what happens if I win? Lunch only. Deal, 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 deal. Okay, let's do this. Ready? Okay, wait, let me take off my socks. I'm actually so not ready for this. I talk so much. <laughs> like with all fights, you always start off with a little slap in the hand and a fist bump. But over here, he caught me a little bit off guard with his little scissor takedown. That, that's a big no-no. You're not supposed to do scissor takedowns when you train with people or even in some competitions. When it comes to the gym training, it's not something that's illegal, but it's frowned upon. You could hurt someone by doing those type of takedowns. And the whole time that I'm fighting him here, at no point did I feel threatened. I felt stronger than him. I was definitely heavier than him, but he was quite wormy. He was good at wiggling himself out. He tried to do several takedowns, but he wasn't able to take me down. Had a lot of head and arm control. Had a lot of cross body control. Had a lot of side control. Took his back a few times, but sometimes I didn't put my hooks in when I should have because I was kind of playing with my food, which is my fault. I shouldn't be playing with my food, you know? And a few points during the fight, I was thinking of uh, taking out his lapel so I could do some funky chokes, but his lapel was actually quite tightly tucked into his belt. But eventually, he got, what can I say, somewhat undressed, but I couldn't have the right grips to choke him out. I tried to choke him out towards the end, but uh, I didn't have enough time. I didn't have the proper grips. But eventually, the fight was over. 
I didn't choke him out. I'm very pissed that I didn't choke him out. I survived, bro. I survived. Oh, oh, I can't breathe. Ooh. You're good. You almost had me. You almost had me. <laughs> no beat tonight. It should be exciting. I still have a chance to pull the biggest upset in Canadian grappling history. Woo. Boy. Feels good, man. For me, the definition of a draw is that no one got submitted and I wasn't able to submit him. Rewatching the video, I noticed there were a lot of instances where I could have submitted him with a Kimura but I didn't do it. Not happy with myself. When I'm fighting someone, I don't want to win by points. I'm there to submit them, whether it's a choke or a joint lock. We're on our way to 10th Planet Jiu-Jitsu. It's gonna roll with San some no-gi. Let's see how it pans out. Now I know this man likes to do certain moves that are considered uh, frowned upon, not recommended, usually, in schools, they advise against doing flying triangles, flying arm bars. And this one he did was like a, a flying heel hook. And it's not the heel hook that's the problem. It's the way he jumped sideways and he put his weight on my knee. You know, if you're in the jujitsu community, maybe the most respected jujitsu coach, John Danar, he actually has a video out there where he talks about the moves if you want to call them techniques that shouldn't be performed in class. The number one cause of catastrophic injury in the sport of Jiu-Jitsu is uncontrolled falling body weight. Like I said, he didn't do anything illegal, but it's a little bit frowned upon. And, you know, he is a blue belt. Maybe he's not aware of it. You shouldn't do these type of moves, but uh, I'll be a little bit more careful and cautious now. The second fight is no gi, and we'll see how it goes. I have a feeling he's gonna go for a lot of leg locks or knee bars, you know, attacking the legs. But uh, he's joking around. He claims I'm 40 pounds heavier than him. I am not 40 pounds heavier than him. I'll give you a little screenshot of my weight right after my water fast. You know, I think I'm gonna hold my own, even if I don't train no gi on the regular. I probably do no gi 25 times a year, but I hope my wisdom, experience, and my overall jujitsu training will get me through this no gi match today. Sam, where are you? You were late for the first roll, now you're late for the second roll. You nervous? All right, what's up guys? So we're here at 10 Plan in Montreal. We're gonna actually do the class uh, under Core Guitar, uh, which is one of the head instructors here at 10, 10 Planet. And uh, we're gonna do the class, we're gonna drill, but we're not gonna drill together. And then after the drilling is done, when sparring begins, we're gonna do our second round. Sounds good. Sounds good? Sounds like a plan. Okay, cool. Awesome, I'll catch up with you guys inside. My hamstring moves towards his neck like this, you see that? And my quad moves towards his shoulder, the squeeze. Okay, so uh, yeah, we're about to finish drilling. Then it's the final matchup between uh, Andrew and I. But the gi was a little tough. I actually expected to get a draw out of uh, out of the whole gi situation in his place of power. But and now we're in my home gym, and I'm uh, looking to pull uh, a big upset. As soon as we slapped hands and bumped fists, he stood up. So I'm like, okay, I guess we're gonna start standing. But fairly quickly, I was able to get him down, getting head and arm control, too obsessed with the head hunting when I could have gone for joint locks. He attempted to do a few leg lock setups, but I was able to muscle my way out of it. Every time we were on our feet, I felt like I controlled the mat he's in great shape he has like no body fat in him he's built like an adonis but i still felt like i had better cardio but he was a squirmy guy slippery he was able to get out of a few moves i tried mounting him a few times but i didn't get it every single attempt 
And there were a few times where I noticed he was playing very defensive. I tried to bait him in by putting myself in a bad position, but ultimately the bait didn't work. <laughs> so the second match was a draw and my cameraman is getting mad at me telling me come on let's get out of here you gotta submit him by now oh you gotta cut this guy out so come on man so i felt like i had a bit of pressure from my teammate here you know so the pressure was on me the boss to take this guy out as fast as possible so for our third match this time we started right away on our feet in case you guys didn't know, Sam trains Muay Thai and that's one of the reasons he, he's pretty much in good shape. He's not just training Jiu Jitsu, he's training Jiu Jitsu and Muay Thai. Fairly quickly, I was able to mount him. I smothered him a bit with my belly on his face. I smothered him with my shoulders. I put a lot of pressure on him. He was a squirmy, squirmy guy. At this point, I'm sweating like a pig. Most of this match, like I said, I mounted him. I had a lot of crossbody. Over here, I don't know what's up with his shorts, but his shorts are popping out and his undies are sticking out. Sorry about that. This is a PG-13 channel. But uh, he mounted me for a few seconds and I baited him into trying to do a triangle so I could pop out and get side control. And at this point, I'm just giving him a lot of pressure. I have side control. I'm thinking of doing a foot lock. By attempting to do the foot lock, he was able to escape, but fairly quickly in the scramble, I got into his half guard and I put a lot of pressure on him. He was able to get out of his my half guard, or I should say, he was able to get out of his half guard and we got the fight back on the feet and eventually the fight ends with us on our feet. You gotta remember in jiu-jitsu, if someone's playing very defensive and they're not on the offense, it's hard to get the submission. But ultimately, I wasn't able to submit him. It's on me. I have more experience than him. The only thing that he has going for him is youth. Sam, you did a great job and I'm looking forward to rolling with you again in the future. So we just finished rolling here at Tan Planet. Uh, it was fun, it was a lot of fun. Uh, we, did, uh, we ended up doing three rolls because the first two were a draw. We did a third roll and it was a draw as well, which keeps the door open to another challenge. Since you came up with this challenge, okay. it's gonna be my turn to come up with the next challenge in less than 30 days. <laughs> what do you think? Sounds good to me. If you want to see Sam's version of this video, click over here. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And if you like Sam's video, you might as well subscribe to his channel too.